Hey guys, Brock here from Window Cleaning World. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to tune up your Wagtail High Flyer, the version two. Uh, so if yours looks like this, um, with the your end clips and the and the end pads there on there, um, then this is the, the video for you. If you've got the old style aluminium one with the little saddle clips on there, there is a different video for that. Um, one of the common things I see is this screw here is not tight enough, so this handle ends up flogging around. This is probably a bit exaggerated, but um, when it's loose like that, this can wear out these discs um, prematurely. So all you need to do is just take a Phillips head screwdriver and just tighten it up until it uh, is no longer like too loose. So that's too tight, it's not spitting enough. So I'm just gonna back it off just a tiny bit, a little bit more. There we go, much better motion. Now, with this one, we can see that um, when we flick it over, it doesn't lock. So it just, yeah, not locking there like it should. Now, a lot of people think it's because of this little nub here has worn out. Uh, that's not actually the case. That's not the only thing that um, stops it from locking over. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna make an adjustment here and here. So we're gonna use some hot water and just some simple um, multi-grips. So we're just going to pour a little bit of hot water on here now. And I'm doing it in the sink here just to catch the water, but also because I'm going to use cold water to set the plastic once <clears throat> it's where I want it to be. So you don't need much. Just like a couple of seconds of hot water. And then just clamp down. You don't want to go too hard, just enough. We're just um, basically squeezing that plastic down a little bit. I'm just going to use some cold water. And it's going to set it. So it's basically softening the plastic. We're tightening that gap, um, which is going to help with the locking. So I'm going to do the other side now. There's a bit of a freestyle video here, guys, and I am sick at the moment, so I probably don't sound too great. So I'm just squeezing that down a bit. Cold water to set it. And then check. Oop. Pad's a bit wet unevenly, so it doesn't look nice. Okay, so there's not enough there. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat that. And this is all you really need to do to make that adjustment. Maybe that's not hot enough. I did just boil this kettle a minute ago, two minutes ago. So I'm just holding down a little bit firmer on that one. Cold the water again to set it. And basically just rinse and repeat until you've got, so that's locking now. Get rid of this excess on this side. locking really well now so all it takes is that little adjustment there and you can get it to basically lock exactly how you like it if you like it to lock really early if you want it to lock with just a small flick <coughs> excuse me or if you want it to lock when you flick it really hard you can make that adjustment simply by heating and and squashing that there if you've gone too far then heat it up and then you can just squash it like that so squashing it there and that'll make that plastic pop up again so um, you can sort of undo if you've gone a bit too far um, so i'm going to go ahead and adjust this one one more time just to even up the locking mechanism let's set that with the cold water It's locking really well now. Um, it's a little bit hard in the start, but um, basically as you start using again, it'll free up a little bit and then you'll have a really nice locking wagtail. So it'll take a little bit of practice, but it's a really easy way to just adjust that and 
get a really nice lock on your wagtail high flyer. If there's any questions, guys, just uh, leave it in the comments below or um, you can always reach out to us at the shop. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day.